Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about antibiotic resistance, one of the biggest menaces of the present era. What the antibiotic resistance is? First let's clear it off. Antibiotic resistance is a gradual process that occurs in disease causing bacteria when they are able to resist the effects of antibiotic drugs. We see antibiotic resistance is acquired by harmful bacteria towards the medication that stores the drugs that's antibiotics. So here bacteria present in our body that causes harmful disease resists the effects of antibiotic and remains unaffected thereby the person remains infectious despite taking the medication. Now let's get into the detail how this antibiotic resistance occurs. First of all we see there is a normal way that's we have a harmful bacteria present in our body. It causes diseases. When it causes diseases it's treated with drugs that's antibiotics and finally we have the elimination of bacteria that's bacteria is eliminated easily but there is another pathway where bacteria is not eliminated that's when it has occurred the resistance we see there's evolutionary pressure for bacteria why there is evolutionary pressure for bacteria the first reason being here that nature does not love eradicating all the species from earth so comes the resistance then after this evolutionary pressure, initially the bacteria occurs some adaptation towards the antibiotics. After it develops initial adaptation towards the antibiotics, there is accumulation of genes. And what kind of genes are accumulated in bacteria? These are the genes that make the product that counterattack with the effects of antibiotics. After that, there is the drug resistant genes, and these drug resistant genes are more widely separate through inheritance towards the next generation and finally the bacteria is now resistant to drugs that's antibiotics this is how antibiotic resistance occurs the overview of antibiotic resistance for antibiotic resistance to occur we have two approaches first is the molecular approach towards antibiotic resistance and another being the evolutionary approach first let's discuss molecular approach in both the cases, antibiotic resistance occurs through overuse of drugs or by increasing the concentration of drugs. Both the terms, both the conditions lead to the antibiotic resistance. In case of molecular approach, when there is an overuse of drugs, there always occurs random mutation or spontaneous mutation. And after there is random or spontaneous mutation, through center dogma, there is a production of new proteins. After there is production of new proteins, there is a morphological or functional change. When the new protein expresses its new function towards the antibiotics and we have the resistant bacteria through this process the other being the evolutionary approach in case of evolutionary approach we have the same overuse of drugs when there is a overuse of drugs there is evolutionary pressure on bacteria which we have already discussed when there is evolutionary pressure on bacteria some bacteria survive with the antibiotics what we call a survival of fittest after there is survival of fittest there is a natural selection of these species which are able to resist the antibiotics. So after the natural selection of these kind of strains, so this is how the antibiotic resistance occurs through both the processes. Now let's see the antibiotic resistance in graphical representation. In graphical representation we see we have a bacterial population like this. On a repeated exposure towards the antibiotics, few bacteria survive. 5 bacteria survive in that case, rest are all dead, eliminated by the antibiotics. When these few bacteria survive, there is a natural selection, there is a selection pressure on these bacteria. There are some genes present in these kind of bacteria that have survived that are able to make them resist towards the antibiotics. So here comes the natural selection. After the natural selection, there is a reproduction of these surviving bacteria. Then there is the emergence of new population with resistant genes in them. So this is how the evolutionary pressure works in them and there is the emergence of new population. And in that new population, antibiotic resistant genes are present since all the population is now antibiotic resistant population. So this is how the antibiotic resistance works in population of bacteria. So this is all about antibiotic resistance. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.